How would you, actor Jim Carrey, rate your top three actor Jim Carrey movies? My top three? Mm. Oh gosh, you're, this is like Sophie's Choice. One. one of the kids is gonna be upset. I Jim Carrey, how are you? Good to see you, man. How are you? I'm very well, I'm very no, well. No, really. How I are mean, you? you know, I'm taking I knew every day. It. Every I day knew as it, it comes. Wow. You know, had a cow lick yesterday. What a facade. I don't know if you've experienced that, but. Uh, I have had nothing but cow licks. Really? My whole head is a cow lick. <laughs> All right, uh, picture this. Dream with me for a moment, okay? Wow. You are Beautiful. you, are you Jim yes. Carrey. You can... Well, that's not much of a leap. Do you want to get in character? You're already there. Okay. I'm me, okay, that's a good start. <laughs> you're you, I'll be me. All right. Um, you go out into your shed at home, mm -hmm. and which inside. is me too because yeah. everything in the dream is you, right? Exactly. So I'm my own shed. You're your own shed, and inside the shed you yes. is a, a blue hedgehog. It's a sickle. From space. <laughs> Waiting. What, how are you reacting? A what blue hedgehog from space. Yeah. Very well, fast you know, off. for me that happens all the time. Really? This kind of thing. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, alien encounters. Uh, it's really, I'm no stranger. Really? You know, oh my God, probing? I don't even <laughs> notice it anymore. So you'd happily go on a little adventure with this? Oh yeah, with this small hog. Oh, I wouldn't have any trouble with that. We were talking about that last night, about you know we were on the plane. We we're thinking, you know, all of these alien movies are really truly designed to get us used to the idea mm. of living with aliens and you know eventually meeting the uh, the many aliens. Let's hope so. That's the message I took from Sonic as well. Is that yeah. Sonic is real and well, he's coming. He's yeah. coming for us all. Well, that's good of you to say. <laughs> yes. So now, what vector are you from? Let's not get into this now. We'll talk mm -hmm. off camera. Yeah. Um, see? So I can see it. We cracked through the surface there. <laughs> Your eyes blinked sideways they for a did, second. They did. They did for a small crazy. Moment. There's so much fun stuff in this. There's, there's action. There's adventure. I couldn't keep my eyes off of this, though. The mustache? The mustache. Yeah, well, see. I mean, I've got personal stakes Man, in this. you just uh, become whatever you see. Exactly. I'm a bit of a shapeshifter in it's that sense. highly so. influential. Exactly. This movie. How much uh, influence <laughs> See what happened? <laughs> this is what happens when you go and see the Sonic movie. Suddenly you have this, exactly. uh, this uh, you know, this look of total untrustworthiness. <laughs> Thank you, that means a lot. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'll leave this and I'll have a cow lick. That's, yeah. that's how it works. You gotta twist up the edges. I, I've gotta try know? to, yeah. How much creative control did you have of that mustache? It's a beautiful uh, mustache. Well, you know, yeah, I always have my licks in there. So, yeah, it's, you know, I, I fortunately have done something in this world that made it possible that I actually get a say in nice. these things. <laughs> so, uh, it's either something that I've said, yeah, that, that looks right to me, or, hey, how about this? What if we, you know, spice it up with a little this and that? To me, this mustache is like the zygote of, of actual evil that's about to occur. Mm. You know, it's the first indication. It is a that pretty evil mustache. There will be women tied to the railroad tracks. <laughs> Speaking of this evil man, he's a very intelligent man. Robert. Yes, of course. Very evil man. Yes. Quite a tragic figure at his core. I think so. Was that the key to him for you? Uh, the you know, yeah, uh, uh, the perfect combination of. Uh, gosh, of superciliousness, mm -hmm. of brilliance, and total worthlessness in his own mind. Yeah, you know, it's a fantastic comedic combination. You know, Definitely. and uh, and I love the idea that he's kind of weirdly on the edge of the AI, you know, fear that's out there. You know, just like the idea that cars are driving themselves, and how long will it be till they take the steering wheel away? Mm -hmm. You know, if Robotnik has his way, he's taking that steering wheel and he's you know, directing you to his evil lair. Mm, definitely. You know? um, now, I'm being told that we've got to go fast. Apt for Sonic. Yeah. I'm going to throw this in very quickly if you could just settle our little office debate. Sure, sure, sure. How would you, actor Jim Carrey, rate your top three actor Jim Carrey movies? My top three? Mm. Oh gosh, you're, this, this is like Sophie's Choice. To put choice. you on the spot, yeah, sorry. It's like sorry. Sophie's Choice. One of the kids is going to be upset. I know, I know. <laughs> in, in different ways, you know, I have, I have odd choices. Like, I really enjoy Cable Guy. Oh, I love Cable Guy, yeah. <laughs> Me, myself, and Irene. These are comedic choices, uh, you know. I, I, I gotta love Ace, because Ace give birth to it all, you mm -hmm. know. So, uh, the alrighty then, uh, kind of you know, throwing off seriousness completely. And, uh, you know, I, I, Eternal Sunshine and Spotless oh, yeah. Mind is a very dear movie to me. Definitely. So, Truman Show for a different reason. Truman Show is, is just something that just keeps presenting itself somehow. Everybody has their own channel right now. I mean, you know, if you, if you like someone, you have to you have to push their subscriber button below. Exactly. I'm gonna try to resist, though. Except for this channel, so if we could just, <laughs> the Real Life Truman Show. Jim, thank you so much for talking Pleasure, to me. man. Have a great day. Yeah, Good thank to meet you. you. You too. I like this mustache. Are we rolling? No. Come on, man. You're missing valuable stuff this here. Is, this is gold. The whole cowlick conversation. 